okay what I'm going to show you is how I thread my machine going from the waist yarn to my sock yarn uh, using a tool which is um, from a flatbed machine knitting it's actually one of the needles from the flatbed knitting machine it has it's similar to the sock knitting machine it's just longer and has a latch and has a butt at the end which I actually cut off now you can use these tools similar to fish from underneath but I always found that hard so I just cut off that butt and I actually latch on from the top and then thread it from the top underneath so now I have knit up to the point where my waist yarn has knitted the last rib stitch and the next uh, cylinder stitch needs to be knit with my main sock yarn so I'm going to go ahead unthread my uh, waist yarn out here and I'm going to thread up my sock yarn into the carrier and just do a quick knot up here attaching the two together move the excess yarn okay so basically I've attached my waist yarn to the sock yarn here uh, now what I'm going to do is instead of again fishing from underneath I'm just going to latch up my sock yarn on this flatbed needle tool and make sure that the latch is closed and all I have to do now is I know exactly where that first stitch needs to happen it's between that ribber stitch and the cylinder stitch and I can catch hold of it I'm also going to catch hold of the yarn so there's some tension on it and I can just pull that through and you just pull it down till all the waste yarn has is underneath and the sock yarn is in there one thing you do need to make sure is that your sock yarn is in front of that very first stitch a uh, very first needle otherwise it's not going to knit and that's going to drop the stitch so mine wasn't I'm just going to switch that around and there you go so now it's going to knit that very first stitch there we go yep it's in front of that and I also like to add a clothes pin uh, uh, on the waist yarn and the sock yarn down below so there's some weight to it and that stitch doesn't fall off so that's how I use the tool and then just removing the slack here on the sock yarn and I can just move forward making sure all of that knits up yep and then I transition into my socket so hope this helps thank you